Welcome back. Well, today is Sunday, so we have one shop spotlight ending and another one beginning today. So, uh, oh yeah, also, it's my birthday. And I thought you might like to take a look at some of the things that some of our viewers have sent for my birthday. So, when we get back. Shop Spotlight Sunday means that our last Shop Spotlight, which was Julie's fabulous collection of everything under the sun in her eBay and Etsy shops, uh, is concluded. So, I hope you all got your names into the giveaway because she was offering a $50 gift certificate to either her Etsy shop or her eBay listings or uh, a baby quilt. So excellent, excellent prizes. And I'm really looking forward to finding out who won. Our winner from last week, and this was Bree's Little Yarn Corner, uh, is announced this week too because everything's running on a weekly cycle and we're just rolling right along here like a panzer tank. So the winner of Bree's Little Yarn Corner was Rock and Roll Rebel. And she recently sent Audie cat treats. So I swear, if those names were not wrapped up in tinfoil, I would really think there was something up about that. But in fact, um, the initial drawing was by her darling little grandchildren, uh, who I'm sure couldn't be bribed. So Audie just picked his little tinfoil ball, and he actually let me have it this time. I think he's starting to figure out how this works out. Either that or, or he was beguiled by the cat treats. Who knows? But congratulations, Jet. And uh, now we have Julie's contest, which has just ended. So her little winner pickers will be coming up with uh, a, a bunch of finalists. She'll send them off to me. And I will wrap them in tinfoil balls, hand them off to Audie. And we'll see how well he does this time. Um, I, I'm mostly concerned about him giving them back to me because pulling the refrigerator away from the wall when he hides them on me can be quite an ordeal. But now we are looking at amazing Amy's accoutrements. And let's take a look at her offerings.
very impressive. And of course, she, by the way, took care of editing the photos and selected the, uh, the giveaway pieces and then put the giveaway on it. I love when they make it easy for me. This is fabulous. Now, because Amazing Amy's Accoutrements is sort of a mouthful, uh, all week long, I'm going to pin a comment with all of her contacts. It will be her website, um, uh, one of her online shops, and I don't remember if it's eBay or Etsy, please forgive me, Amy, and um, what another email address. We've got something like three email addresses for her. So I'm going to pin them all. Because, as I say, Amazing Amy's accoutrements can be a little bit of a mouthful. And I know that a lot of you are probably going to have difficulty with the spelling and so on. So I'm just going to give you a click on this link. Um, that was just amazing stuff, wasn't it? I just, wow. Um, I didn't know what half of that stuff was. Because some of it's very avant-garde jewelry, I'm guessing. But nevertheless, I'm quite sure I could sit there and just stare at it all afternoon. You know, beautiful, beautiful items. So, get your names in to the giveaways. Um, okay, birthday. Well, I bought myself a vacuum cleaner. I did this... Uh, before I found those little rose medallion egg cups, well, rose canton actually, um, before I found them, and I thought the vacuum cleaner was going to end up being my birthday present. Well, all right, I got myself something a little more interesting, but I needed a vacuum cleaner because I have a cat and cat shed, and I was pretty sure my vacuum cleaner wasn't doing a really good job. Uh, but at that point, it was just a suspicion. So, got the vacuum cleaner all set up today and started vacuuming. And um, I only vacuumed one rug. I vacuumed the, the living room rug. I have not come into the bedroom or the doll room or anything else like that. And the vacuum cleaner has a canister that's about the size of a five-pound coffee can. And it was full of Audi fur. So I'm getting the feeling that my other vacuum cleaner was a lot worse than I thought it was. And I was probably really kidding myself about how relatively clean my rugs were. I'm thinking, oh, I'm vacuuming. They've got to be clean. No, I really don't think so. I must have pulled like two cats worth of fur out of that rug today with the new vacuum cleaner. So I'm very pleased with that. And it's quiet. So Audie doesn't run and hide. I mean, he doesn't want to be its best friend, of course, but he doesn't want to run and hide. And that's a big plus. So let's take a look at some birthday presents. And let me start off with uh, one from Colleen Staver. So take a look. Now, I had to show you a picture of that because it's in the other room and I didn't want to move it in here because it is such an enormous bouquet that I actually thought I was going to have to split it and stick it in two vases in order to just, you know, get them all in water. It's just massive. And Audie ignored them because he got the box. Uh, they, it came in a big, big box. Flowers came out. Cat went in. Everybody's happy. And, of course, Colleen was concerned because there were lilies in the assortment, and she was upset that Audie might try to eat them. No, no interest in eating flowers. Uh, he's just, it's just not on his menu. And, in fact, Audie will only eat one kind of cat food at all. And it's the cheap stuff, meow mix. That's what I used to put out when I was feeding the stray cats. When he was a stray and would just come by for dinner and 
he took a liking to it and I've tried to get him onto better quality, more nutritious cat food. This is just, you know, your basic store brand stuff, but he won't eat it. And the problem with Audie is he is a very good hunter. So I can't just look at him and say, here, eat this or do without, because he doesn't have to do without. He will go outside and get his own dinner. Thank you very much. So it's Meow Mix. All right, let's take a look at some of the others. Now, let me just start with this. Uh, here we go. Can we see this? The Pollock's Dictionary of English Dolls. This is actually a pretty significant work on English dolls. Loads of pictures. It's, in fact, it's hard to open the book without landing on a page full of pictures. Um, really, really interesting. So, I'm going to learn about English dolls. This was from Flowing Brook. Um, so, thank you very much. I really, really do enjoy this. Um, and Rock and Roll Rebel, who in fact just won Bree's Little Yarn Corner giveaway, had sent this. Now, if you remember this, this is the piece that had been at Bedford, um, this beautiful Art Modern print. It's a magazine cover, actually. And she got it and then had them deliver it. Well, actually, I don't think she had them deliver it. I think they volunteered to do it. The folks at Bedford are very nice. And the woman who brought it over does cleaning for my neighbor across the street. Um, he's older and by himself. now. Well, you, you know, they're all older. I think I, I told you that. And he's by himself now. And so she goes over and does cleaning for him so she knew exactly where I was. So that and then... Yes, um, my favorite fashion maven, Rock and Roll Rebel, has matched up my hair color with something new and sparky. And we'll see how that works. Um, and we're not done yet. Where is it here? I'm sitting on it. No, I'm not sitting on it. All right. Well, let me get this on. This is a shawl. And I happen to love these. These are wonderful. They are warm. They are convenient. Right now, of course, that two seconds is about all I could bear because it was 90 degrees here today. It still has not cooled off much. So that's sort of the extent of what I can deal with. Um, but let me just... This. I am going to reframe this. Let me see if I can get this in. If I can. There we go. I got the whole thing in, only I had to do it sideways. I'm going to reframe this. I brought it into the kitchen with my stove, you know, Ezra, the Art Deco stove. And I decided that because there's so much black bump, I don't know what's wrong with me here. Because there is this, this is white, but it's, it's from 1937, so it's starting to yellow a bit. Um, and it's starting to match the cream color of the stove. And of course we have black. And this, which was once red, this magazine cover was from July of 1937. So this is a 4th of July image. And... Um, so this is the red, white, and blue, and stars, and stripes, and so on. And uh, the red is starting to take an orange hint. And, and I'm probably just going to pick that up um, in the colors. So that is going to end up being a kitchen piece. I think I would very much like it to live with my stove, or at least in close proximity to my stove, so they can be buddies. Um, all right, tomorrow, 
this. Um, and I'm sure you've noticed this is a bit of a short video. I don't know what is going on with YouTube, but video upload times uh, this weekend are atrocious. Um, uh, you know, short video, it's like three hours to upload. So, because I want to make sure that this gets uploaded, when you do uploads, here's my digression. I'm sorry, it's my birthday. I'm scattered and I'm all over the place today. When you do uploads, it's imperative that you maintain your connection. And of course, we're getting bad, bad storms, uh, which is the aftermath of the hurricane. That's it, it's it. I don't want to make it sound like we're in the middle of a hurricane. We're not. We barely got licked, but we've gotten really significant storms, non-hurricane storms, though. So I'm concerned about my internet connection failing because when your connection fails, you have to start the upload all over again. And when it's three-hour chunks to get a video uploaded, that's going to be really problematic. And I am determined that no matter what's going on with regard to the weather or what's happening on YouTube, um, my assumption is a lot of people are up. Uh, finally, I guess he was asleep in the other room, but he's just finally decided to pay attention to us. Um, I assume a lot of people are uploading and that is contributing to the slow upload speeds because this happens more often on weekends. If I upload a video on Tuesday night, for example, bang and it's done. But the weekend, it's really brutal. So this is going to be a little, do you want to come over or you're just sniffing, just sniffing. Um, so I want to make sure this goes up. So it is going to be a little shorter than usual. Um, you have, yes, okay. You have Audie's tail, I guess. Well, it wouldn't be my video without Audie's tail, would it? Um, tomorrow, I am doing an unboxing because um, I, I got another whole box of birthday stuff from another one of our subscribers, and I haven't even cracked the box open yet. Yes, I will, okay? Yes, do you want that? Yes, I know, I know. I love you too. Um, very needy. We were talking about uh, COVID-19 issues. He's got them. He doesn't get company. Nobody is visiting. Visiting is like a, a non-thing now. And Audie is really suffering from that. So for those of you who have pets who are used to having company, check them out. Make sure they're emotionally okay because my little bad boy is definitely feeling this. So let's have our little minute of peace and serenity. Tomorrow we've got a box opening no idea what is in it at all. Uh, we will probably have a cat keeping us company. Um, yeah, they, they hear you. Yeah, it's important that you hear him. I don't know if you figured that out. He's going to jingle until you do. All right. So have a terrific day, everyone. Thank you all so very much for the birthday wishes and for the presence and this is just it's just so lovely so oh and 66 today um usually by the way in january i start identifying my age for wh whatever i'm going to be turning that year so i'm usually running you know as much as nine months ahead of schedule um and I've been doing that since I was about six years old. So it's an old habit. I come by it, honestly. All right. I will see you all tomorrow. Have a great day. And don't forget to get your names in for the giveaway because Amy's got some beautiful stuff. If you are a vendor and you want your uh, shop in the spotlight, get in touch and 
we, we're going to keep doing this till we run out of vendors. All right, see you tomorrow.